Now the Yankees have taken the field. And the Yankee defense will line up this way. Out in left field, it'll be Lou Fanella. And in center field, it'll be the swift Mickey Rivers, who made a great throw from center field, short center field last night, to get Steve Garvey at the plate, if you remember. And Reggie Jackson opens in right field tonight with a right-hander going for the Dodgers. He is hitting in the cleanup position. At third base, Greg Nettles, who played last night and will play tonight with a sore shoulder, but he had one great play and a heck of a throw to nail a base runner. At shortstop, Bucky Dent, who came out early today and took about an extra half an hour working at shortstop on handling the ground balls over there. At second base, Willie Randolph, who had the great offensive game last night, over at first base for the New York Yankees, the steady man, Chris Chambliss. Behind the plate doing the catching will be the captain of the New York Yankees, Thurman Munson, and out on the mound, Catfish Hunter, the veteran right-hander with a record of 4-1 and one in World Series competition, all of it coming with the Oakland A's. The Los Angeles Leading Dodgers off for the will Dodgers. send Davey Lopes, Bill Russell, Reggie Smith, Ron Say hitting cleanup, Steve Garvey, Dusty Baker, Rick Mundy, Steve Yeager batting eight, and the pitcher, Bert Hooten, in the nine position. Difficult season in the early innings. He allowed 29 home runs during the season. They came early, 12 hit in the first inning, and another seven hit in the second and third combined. Davey Lopes gives it a ride to straightaway center field, but Mickey Rivers backpedaling holds it down, and you've got one out. Bill Russell, the Dodgers shortstop, one for six last night with a triple. It produced a run for Los Angeles, swinging from the left side tonight. Russell hits it to left field for Pinella. Who's there? Two down. Say and Garvey can hit the ball out to right center. They've got good power over there, and the only guy that really should give. Hard shot, right center. It'll go through the gap to the wall. Reggie Smith around first, going for two. And he stands at second with a double. One long slump, but he did nail 30 home runs. And he was very productive, and he came at the start of the season like a tornado. Back two. Well, you've seen a slow, low slider and a high slider. He's getting his pitches tonight. Ed Sudol behind the plate. Of course, is a National League umpire. You can have one of them, but you can't have both of them. <laughs> High five ball. Hit well to left. Manella going back, going back. It is gone. Home run, long save. Out at 390. Dodgers lead 2-0. That's what we meant about watching Hunter in the first inning. Keith, that's, a, that's really a pitcher's mistake. No hustle or uh, no chatter on the bench. They've come out smoking here tonight. Well, last night, he had a bunt single. Hits it on the ground to Willie Randolph, the second baseman. He throws him out. The Dodgers, a double and a home run. And they take the lead in the top of the first inning, two to nothing, with the Yankees coming up in the bottom of the first. The New York Yankee lineup tonight, the batting order, Mickey Rivers leading off, number two, Willie Randolph, Thurman Munson hitting third, catching, Reggie Jackson will be in the cleanup spot against the right-hander, Chris Shambliss, the first baseman, bats fifth, Greg Nettle six, Lou Pinella hits seven, Bucky Dent eight, and Catfish Hunter, the pitcher, will be hitting in the number nine position. Dodgers line up defensively with Dusty Baker in left, Rick Mundy will be in center field tonight, he hits left-handed, Reggie Smith in right, Ron Say at third, Billy Russell at shortstop, Davey Lopes at second, Steve Garvey at first, Yeager catching and the pitcher is Bert Hooten himself get out of control and he didn't last long in that ball game on the season the earned run average perhaps indicating that his record might have been a little better than 12 and 7 had he had a little bit more luck tonight Willie Randolph who had a big night including his first series home run and then Thurman Munson here's the redhead who came to the Dodgers from Chicago at three and two to Rivers high pop to the left side say goes to the railing he's got some room and he makes the catch. That is a live picture, and obviously a major wow. fire in a large building in the South Bronx region of New York City. That's a live picture, and obviously the fire department in the Bronx have their 
problem. My goodness, that's a huge play. That's hate to see that. Mm. 274 on the year. At... He's gone. Randolph strikes out. Keith, I think the Yankees might have some trouble. Ball and Billy Martin down in front of the Yankee dugout. Billy doesn't like that call. Tudor call Randolph out. Doesn't like it, obviously. Hey, is two run home run. Here is Thurman Munson. Ball is prohibited. Munson strikes out. So Bert Hooten strikes out two of the three Yankees he faces in the bottom of the first inning, and after one, the Dodgers lead two to nothing. Dusty last night, one for four. 291 on the constitutional or something. Because he has been wearing them out this season. Rolls this one to Greg Nettle. Nettle's on the money with his throw, and you've got one out. The fielder. Ball one. Rick Mundy has a field for Los Angeles. Pulls it to the right side. Chambers over gloves it. Hunter to cover it first. They get it. Very good. He and Gullet are two fine fielding pitchers. They become the ninth fielder on the. Is that 1908? You saw that? Or what? <laughs> what year? <laughs> Yeager hits it high, hits it deep to left. Vanilla goes to the wall. He jumps. Home run, Yeager. Vanilla coming down hard, shaken. Dodgers lead 3 0. This is not an easy thing. Hutton runs out to talk. No, no, he's running out to see the condition of Roy White. Uh, Lou Pinella, correction. But for Jim Hunter, who has been so very great, to have gone through the kind of year he's gone through, the ailing shoulder, then a mysterious ailment that at first was diagnosed as a hernia, proved to be something else. Time doesn't permit, nor with good taste detailing, the complications of his medical case. That's, that's what Instant. the trainer is working on, both of them, Keith. That's padded, isn't it? It's yes. padded, but he may have been up on the top of the fence. Bit of 300. Now let's look feet. at Pinella here. Pinella. He jammed himself into the wall. Well, he gave it all he had. I threw one to Bert Hooten like that in Chicago one day. Grand slam. It was a grand slam home run, Howard. What a memory. Pulls it sharply and nettles. Loves it and loops it and gets it. So a nice play by Greg Nettles going to his right at third to retire the sign. But the Dodgers get a run on Yeager's home run and lead the Yankees three to nothing. In a row. Want to get that big barrel of the bat out on the ball right in there. Reggie knew it. That's the third straight strikeout for Bird Hooten. On a double by Reggie Smith and a home run by Ron. Well, oh, boy. Well, he is sharp tonight so far. I'll tell Four you that. strikeouts in a row. The look of a hot pitcher. And the Yankee batters mm -hmm. looking like they don't know quite what they're looking for or at. They've got to be sitting on that knuckle curve. They're just... They just haven't seen it. They don't know what it looks like, and they want to get a good look at it. Two and two for the Yankee third baseman. Sharply hit, Lopes flags it, the Yankees are gone. Bert Hooten has retired six in order. And after two complete innings of play, the Dodgers lead three to nothing. A strike, Lopes hit the ball well, his first time up to center field. Pitching effort. Over the pitcher's head, Randolph in a hurry. Lopes can fly, throws, gets him. Good play by Randolph. Lopes could get down that line as good as anybody from the right side. Batter now, Bill Russell. Fly ball to left field. First time up. Hits this one. That'll be trapped by Fanella. And Russell is aboard with a single. Good play by Pinella, good act by Pinella. Yeah, he came up begging, right? Right. <laughs> Sometimes you get him, you never That's know. Right. It's the plate. Three for 16, as you see, in the National League Championship. What do you want you to do? 
Here's Dick Tidrow in the bullpen for the New York Yankees. Tidrow, 11 and 4. He was a very stout figure. High fly ball, hit deep to right center field. We back home. That was a monster. It really was. And so Billy Martin will have no choice now. Tom Lasorda applauding. Catfish Hunter shocked by Reggie Smith as he hits the ball at least 420 feet. And here comes Mark. Deep right center field seats. The third home run of the ball game for the Los Angeles Dodgers. They lead five to nothing, and Billy's at the mound. The new pitcher for the New York Yankees, right-hander Dick Tidrow, out of Kansas City, Missouri, is home now. Tidrow. In his second World Series, finished the 1977 season with an 11 and 4 record. He appeared in 49 ball games. He saved five. He pitched twice in the American League Championship Series. All the home runs were hit off Jim Hunter on two strike count. It'll be at 12:30 Eastern Time. Two and one now to Ron Say, and Roddy hits it high in the air to the right side. Thurman Munson almost lost it. Ran it down. The Dodgers five runs on five hits and Steve Garvey. <laughs> Broken bat roller up the middle. Bucky Dent coming across. Bounces it over to Chris Chambliss. Not in time. Garvey legs it out. Base hit number five to nothing. Garvey going. Baker swings and misses. Munson's throw. He's out of there. So Steve Garvey takes off on the first pick. And though Thurman Munson is not a purist, perhaps behind the play, he gets the job done. Garvey thrown out of the Dodgers' lead after two and a half, five, nothing. He gets the ball there as quickly as any catcher in the game of baseball. Lou Pinella punches the first pitch to right, and he breaks the string of Bert Hooten. So Bert Hooten had retired the first six Yankees to face him. And fight Vigor in him. Here's Bucky getting their first hit, a single to right by Pinella. Dent flex out, snap throw to first, not in time. Right by him base hit was a check swing to right field still. That's true, but a hit from Rivers, which is unusual. Kidrow squares to butt, and the ball is fouled off Steve Yeager, and Yeager is down. Really jarred. The ball ricocheted off Steve Yeager, the Dodger catcher. Oh. That hurts. Bill Bueller, the trainer, Tom Lasorda, out there in a hurry. As Jaeger went right down immediately. I'll tell you, we really found out what Steve Yeager was made of when Dave Parker of the Pittsburgh Pirates ran over him during the regular season. And Parker, a 4'6'40 man at 230 <laughs> pounds, and he he just totaled Yeager, but Steve held on to the ball, got his man, stood up, and then collapsed. Say comes creeping in at third. Kidrow takes. Strike. And he's gone. So he looks at strike number three. Again, is on the grass at third base. And he wants to get something going here. Shot at Davey Lopes. Traps it, flips it, and the inning is over. The Yankees get their first base hit. They cannot move the man around. After three complete innings of play, Dodgers lead 5 0. one. This is an ideal lineup for Tidro to face, too. Primarily because he's played a good deal of the year in pain. That comes apart. It's a high fly ball in the short center. Rivers comes in a hurry. Wow. Without the speed of Rivers, it drops. Oh, he came a long way for that ball. He did, and it was one of those I want to be traded catches by Mickey. He dropped his head. He had to look down to see where Denton was coming out in the outfield. He came a long way for that ball. Moment. One ball, two strikes to Monday. Up the middle it goes, base hit.
So Monday reaches Kidrow for a single up the middle with one out. The batter is Yeager. He's had his most productive year in the major leagues with six for the Yankees. Yeager checks swing down the right field line. Fair ball. Monday turns second, heads for third. Yeager holds at first and a check swing single down the right field line. Since Monday around the scoring position, Yeager is two for two. There it is in plain, simple, printed oh, English. Thanks, guys. It's nice to be Thank reminded. Thank you. Thank you. They've got Monday hung up. And he's out. Throw back to second. They had Yeager at second, except the ball skidded away from Willie Randolph. <laughs> I would just... I was just about to say, you're probably bun here, but it won't be a squeeze. You'll just try to get the other runner down to second base. <laughs> Uh-oh, Rick comes in and says, oh, I can't go that way. I'll go back this way. No, I can't go that way either. Good rundown, good fundamentals there. Second. Yes, sir. Well, and the quick <laughs> throw by Munson. And, well, maybe they had him, maybe they didn't. Did Finally got it. The inning is over. Dodgers threaten. Yankees hold them for the first time. Dodgers lead 5 nothing. A little noisier as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Ball is hit in the hole. Russell, long throw, will not try. Very wise decision on Russell's part. Willie Randolph is a speech. And the leadoff man on. Hooten struck him out the first time tonight. Strike, snap throw, first base, close, but safe. Beautiful throw to first. The pitch to Munson. Hit on the ground in the center field for a base hit. Randolph turns second, he'll go to third. And so the Yankees come up with back-to-back -back singles in the bottom of the fourth inning. Their first threat of the night. Field, Reggie, Reggie has started the opening game of the season. Sharp to first base. Fair ball over to second one. Back to first. They've got a double play. And Willie Randolph canters home from third for the first one of the night for New York. 3-6-3 three, three, double play. Well, that takes a lot of wind out of people's sails right there. Since that was a fine defensive play by Garvey. It was. Reggie he hit that ball. He on. was going to score one. Reggie get a double out of it. Chambliss hits it sharply at Russell. Bill throws him out. And the inning is over. But New York gets on the scoreboard. After four complete innings of play now, it's 5-1 Dodgers. Pass. And Lopes pulled it away and took it. Or else he missed it. Oh. Took it apart. It looked like uh, cushion rubber in there. Lopes hits it high in the air. Rivers going back. And he'll have room for this one, though. And for the second time tonight, Baby Lopes flies deep up this year. Billy Russell from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. After Jim Hunter traveled two and a third, gave five earned runs on five hits. Pulled to the hole, medals, cuts it off. Greg throws and gets it. Two down. Tedros doing a good job. Came in here, there five, five. Smith has hit a double and hit a home run. Pulls it on the ground to Shamless. Gravy bounce for Chris. He'll make the play himself. Tedrow gets him in order. So after four and a half innings of play in game number two of the 1977 World Series, it's five to one Dodgers. And now a message on behalf of Major League Baseball. Looking. That's Kenny Clay, a youngster brought up in near midseason. Shown very well in his initial outing against the Boston Red Sox to the last inning as you recap the scoring, Keith. When you look at Reggie Jackson's sharp ground, Ella, Bucky Dent, the scheduled hitters for New York. Then we'll see about the pitcher as Nettles hits it up the middle. Base hit number four for New York. And the first of the night for Nettles. They're starting to get a look at him, Keith. The guys are starting to hit the ball hard here. Reggie hit the ball very hard. Here's the man who had the first hit of the night, Lou Pinella. He checks on it and dropped it into short right field. Ball. <laughs> on the ground. 
to Russell to Lopes for one that's all the force at second on nettles vanilla aboard on a fielder's choice play. action in the Yankee bullpen we're looking at the potential of a pinch hitter there's the Dodger pen there's Tidrow on deck Hit to the right side for a base hit. Reggie Smith plays it in, and Fanella holds at second base. So Dent moves him along. And that's a hoot, and they would begin to hit him, because they're doing just that now. Note the average for Zebra. So with two on and one out, the pitch to Zebra is high and away for ball one. So now anxiety begins to grow a little in the Dodger dugout, and that brings pitching coach Red Adams up and out and on the way to the mound to talk. Little talk to settle them down, hopefully, but they vividly remember what happened last Friday in Philadelphia. When Christensen, the Philadelphia pitcher, was up, Putin had him. One ball, two strikes. Thought he struck him out. Got an adverse call from the umpire. Then... Hooten walked Christensen, walked the next three men, and before you knew it, the Phils had overtaken a two-to-nothing Dodger lead, and were ahead three to two. First major threat. Back three call. George Zeber caught looking at a red-hot fastball on the inside corner. All fastballs. Where were this fastball? He <laughs> really crossed Zeber up. Right. There he had a pinch hitter up, didn't fool around, went right with his fastball. Second. Dent at first. Two down, Rivers, high in the air. Might be a play for Yeager. Not quite. Second row. Hasn't found it yet in this series. Ball is hit in the air to left field for Dusty Baker. Drifting toward the line, makes the catch. And so Bert Hooten bears down and works his way out of a jam. After five, the score 5-1 Dodgers. Back with more baseball after this word from our local station. Is a 23 year old rookie from Lynchburg, Virginia. Pitched at Syracuse earlier this year where he was 5 and 1. He was called up by the Yankees on June 6th. Top of the sixth inning, young Ken Clay called on to face the heavyweights in the Dodger batting order Ron Say, Steve Garvey, and Dusty Baker. Say breaks his bat, grounds it to Bucky Dent. Dent throws him out. First time I'd heard it. A single and two trips tonight. Hits it to the right side. Shambles back hands it. Play covers and they get it. Good play. With weights and here he is having had a remarkable season. He got his on the last day of the season. There's a oh. high to left field but there's room for it. Did not quite get all of it. Sort of a slapping sound and Vanilla makes the catch. And so Ken Clay comes in and blows the Dodgers down in order. After five and a half, it's 5-1. Dodgers lead. Four Eastern time. As Bert Hooten pitches to Willie Randolph, Ron Say snaps it up and throws him out. One gone in the bottom of the sixth inning with the Dodgers on top. Hooten has been impressive in this respect, too. He's been a head of hitters all night. He's had only three, three. For New York, a single and two trips. Hits it on the ground to Bill Russell. Two down. Two pitches, two out. Making it look easy, isn't he? Mm, who was such a strong performer for the Yankees. High pop. Yeager comes back looking for room and goes to the screen and can't get it. Ball just hangs up on top of the foul screen. There on the mound, he gets a whole lot bigger. Jackson swings and misses and strikes out. And so Bert Hooten blows him down at the bottom of the sixth inning. After six complete innings, Dodgers five, Yankees one. Well, it looks like that fire is just about out, Keith. Fire department deserves a lot of credit for their prompt action, assuming our surmisal is correct. On his first pitch, Rick Mundy has a single. Hot water bottles are beginning to show up here on an autumnal evening. Tom has one here in the booth. Three and one now to Monday. High to left field. 
Vanilla. One down. Okay. Facing play for the first time. This ballpark, you would think, at least on theory, that you could handle them there. Greg Nettle saw the high bouncer and throws out Steve Yeager. First game, extra inning games in the World Series. One George, Herman, Babe, Ruth. Right. Oh, Luton got some wood on it. That gives Lou Fanella a little action in left field to retire the side. So Ken Clay now has retired the Dodgers in order on successive innings. 5-1 Los Angeles. Glenn Burke is now playing center field. For the Los Angeles Dodgers on a cool night. Tommy Lasorda. Oh, one. one and one now to Shambliss, the Yankee first baseman. I'm always afraid he's going to permanently dismember himself. Shambliss hits it deep to right field. Smith is over at the track, makes the catch. For a moment, the crowd came up. Hypnotist. Yes, he did. Nettles has no history of hitting the ball in that direction. He doesn't have to this time because Houghton just walked in. That is the first base on balls given up by Bert Houghton to Fanella, who has a single. The first hit of the ball game for the Yankees came from Fanella. Games all year long. Robson, a left hander. And Elias Sosa, the right hander, with the Dodger pin. With Nettles on first base. Lou hits it high to right center field where Glenn Burke camps, and you've got two out. In the Yankee success of 77, coming over from the Houston Astros. Jolly sort of a fellow. That's a nice looking thing. High fly ball, playable. Glenn Burke, right center. It's tough, Putin's tough. The inning is over. The Yankees get a base runner, can't do anything with it. After seven complete innings, 5-1 Dodgers. At shortstop now for the New York Yankees, Fred Stanley, the young man who played that position most of 1976 for them. Back up, man. Fits in with the team. Helps make a team go. Top of the order for the Dodgers here in the top of the eighth inning. Ken Clay pitches and Davey Lopes beats it right back to him for out number one. Clay's activity or his life in the game, if you will, prolonged by the fact that Johnson made the third out and Roy White was not able to come to the plate to hit for it. Good job for Billy Martin. Bill Russell up for the fourth time. Peter O'Malley, the boss man of the Dodgers, who apparently is in conversation with the commissioner. Russell hits it out of the left center field where Mickey Rivers runs it down, and you've got two gone. Seen a super catch in the outfield yet. In long, high fly balls. We'll see about Saturday. Three balls in one, uh, four, that's the fourth ball, and the Reggie Smith goes down to first base. It could be that, that, uh, Believe it or not, Ken Holtzman is and two out. And Say hits it up the middle. Randolph comes across the back for the force on Smith, and the inning is over after seven and a half innings. In game number two of the World Series of 1977, the Dodgers lead the Yankees five to one. Roy White did not have one of his better years, and yet, in a way, it was tipping. The batting average, Henrico Woodling. Another ball, two Yankee good ones, very good ones of the past. Roy White can be likened to either. Billy Martin on the phone. High fly ball out into right field for Reggie Smith. One out. Surprise me, Yep. Yep. Roy White. Bottom of the eighth inning now. You're looking at kinds of folks starting running around on the Dodger bullpen again. They've got action up there with a couple of people warming up. And Rivers hits it high, and he hits it deep to right center. Burke all the way to the warning track holds it down. Space runners. Only one runner. Reached second. He's been a commanding pitcher tonight. No question about it. 
innings from Tedrow, three innings from Young Clay. Hard shot to left for Randolph. Look out. Does he have another one? Oh, great running catch by Dusty Baker. Didn't have quite the carry that he put on it last night where he hit his first World Series home run. We've played eight innings of play. Los Angeles five, New York one. Against Sparky Lyle, who has won three successive games in the playoffs. He won a couple, and he was the winning pitcher last night, going three and two thirds. In the bottom of the ninth, right now, Steve Garvey stands in with one hit in three trips to the plate. 13 innings, eight hits, and one earned run, walked nobody, and struck out three. Garvey just nailed one, going to left. Vanilla goes back to the wall, jumps. And it's in the seats. And there's a run. For a home run. So Steve Garvey, who has been quiet, nails one on the line at 385 feet. It is in the seats, but I'll tell you this, Vanilla didn't miss it by very much. You couldn't tell until he came down whether or not the ball had actually reached the seats. That's how close Vanilla comes to it. Just over the top of his... That's it high in the air. Fred Stanley backs up at shortstop and makes the catch in short left center. And we've had a couple of firecrackers thrown out of the stands out in that right field area as well. So Reggie just stood there and talked to him until the gendarmes arrive. And now we've got a green smoke away. bomb going to center field. Yeah. Okay. Bomb. That's a lovely display, isn't it? Well, I'll down for a shovel or something to pick up the smoke bomb to take it out of the way and so we can get along with the ball game. And the Dodgers have hit four home runs in the ball game. Well, maybe we ought to show that fire in the South Bronx once again. Maybe it's been gravitating over here. Then Ken Play came in, and now Reggie goes over with his gamble. Careful, Reggie. <laughs> careful. Reggie's got his gamer taking yeah. the smoke bomb out of here. They played in front of these New York fans for 10 years. The New York fans, and they're super. Literally, they confuse liberty with license. Burke taps it. Thurman Munson out in front makes the play. And we've got another loose one in center field. Yeah, yeah we'll hear the fans <laughs> boo the security officers who are doing their job. Here comes another one. When you get one, you usually get a rash. Well, I think he just missed the best play of the whole night. They tackled somebody. <laughs> yeah, it was a downfield block or a downfield tackle. This is very disconcerting to the players now. Sparky up with the long ball tonight. No question, the Yankees have been all but helpless in front of Bird Hoop in this World Series. Foul tipped, and that got the umpire. Ed Sudol really took a whack. Hit him on the shoulder, huh? Bullpen with Charlie Huff. High pop. Thurman Munson coming back. Coming back. In the third row. Good candidate for the Cy Young Award. Rolled at third for Greg Nettles. Throw just in time. And the inning is over. The Dodgers get a run on Steve Garvey's home run. Lead 6-1 to one going to the bottom of the ninth. Back. And Chris Chambers. And Houghton had his best inning of all last inning. He threw only six pitches. One run and five hits so far for the Yankees. Munson hits a high pop. Coming back. Yeager chases to the screen. Great play. That's a great play. In a ballpark that Steve Yeager doesn't play in, came right back to the ball. Doesn't really know the dimensions. Here he is. Now look at this. This is a new ballpark for Steve Yeager. Doesn't really know how far exactly it is from that home plate to that wall. Perfect timing. Outstanding defensive catcher. Let's on deck. I'm surprised Keith too. Now they're down 6-1. That's first pitch. Even after the first yep. pitch, they need base runners. High fly ball to left center. Glenn Burke, two down. The 
as a foul. Garvin. Right. Strike one to Chris Shambliss. Our research for the ball game of the series by Jerry Klein. As Chris Shambliss hits a high fly ball to right center field for Burke, the ball game is over, and the Los Angeles Dodgers have pulled even with the New York Yankees. As the Dodgers defeat the Yankees by a score of six to one in the second game, and so the series will move to the West Coast. Off tomorrow for travel resumes Friday night. Bert Hooten goes nine innings, one earned run, five hits. He struck out eight. He walked one. 